Time capsule from the year 1879. A message to the future. A decade of science and wonders. Hello there, the future. Hello. Hello. We speak to you from the distant past of 1879. What wonders you must be experiencing right now. Yes, imagine. Pens with unlimited ink. Pantaloons that withstand extreme heat. Horses with levitating hooves. Women voting. Women voting. <laughs> Sometimes I get the craziest ideas. Have we managed to visit the moon yet? I wonder. Yes, did we defeat the moon men? Did we procure the magic moon cheese? Well, we will never know, for by the time you have found this time capsule, we will both be dead. Dead in the grave. Worms and such. Oh, Montgomery, that's frightfully deleterious. Yes, quite. Let us immediately move along and let the good people of the future no, the wonders of the last ten years. Yes, let's. Where shall we start? 1874. We are in the Bell Laboratories to see what the newest creations in the realm of science have sprung from the mind of Alexander Graham Bell. What do we have here, Alexander? This is my newest invention. I call it the telephone. Ooh. Amazing. What does it do? It is a... Telecommunications device. Ooh. Amazing! Can we try it? Why, certainly. Watson! Yes, sir? Please call this phone from the phone in the other room. Yes, sir. Now, just wait a moment there. Hello! How are you? I'm talking to the telephone. That's not really how you do it. You have to pick up the... What's that? You like my pantaloons? Why, thank you, sir. This is exciting. Wait, you haven't even... I think you are looking dashing as well. How do you learn its language so quickly? I have no idea. Natural male intuition, I guess. What jolly fun. Hello? Phone? I think, I think, has the phone died? Oh my god. Why aren't you picking up? These phones don't have a long lifespan, do they, Belle? 1877. What in the bloody world is that? Why? It appears to be a phonograph. Photograph? No, you imbecile. A phonograph created by Edison. You mean Charles Crow, the French poet? No, no. That fool went bankrupt. Never the mind. So what does it do? Take photographs? No, no. Didn't you read about it in the papers? It is a device that records and plays back sound. Oh, what a marvelous invention. How does it work? Well, you see. Um, you turn that crank, and sweet, sweet sand will project out of there. No, not there. There! Oh, I see. Shall we give it a turn? I don't see why not. The uh, first words I spoke in the original phonograph. A uh, little piece of practical poetry. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to. The lamb was sure to. <laughs> By turning the handle to activate the cylinder, creates an impression of sound on that piece of tinfoil. Don't try to steal my invention. I've already got the patent. 1878. So what play you show it? It's not a play at all. Edward Mybridge has invented something called the motion picture. We are about to witness the future of photographs. That's right. It moves all on its own. God, Sooks, we are witnessing history in the making. I've heard so much about Sally Gardner and the Gallop. 
Or as the English call it, the horse in motion. I wonder how they're going to make a picture move. I don't know, this is very thrilling. I wonder if this is black magic. Don't be ridiculous, there's no such thing as magic. Oh, look over there! Sir Johnny McDonald's is sitting in the front row. And... It's starting. I wonder what the horse's name was. He was spectacular. He moved so gracefully and swiftly. I believe they said his name was Occident. They filmed it at the Palo Alto Farm in California. Really? Yes, indeed. They used ten cameras lined up in a row to create the motion effect. I believe we'll be seeing more of this horse in the future. He was quite eloquent. 1879! What the Jesus! What in God's name are you looking at? That lunatic Edison has been running back and forth all night and day, yelling complete obscenities. Have you been awake all night looking through the window? Maybe. You're nothing better than a peeping Tom. Oh, shush. Why isn't there quick any now. light in here? I'm waiting for Edison to finish creating his carbon fur light bulb. Quick, quick. He's been acting like a lunatic, and I'm worried he will never succeed. I think you need to sleep. Eureka! Oh, my God, he's done it. Done what? Created a bulb that can last for up to... Um, up to 40 hours. Don't try to steal my invention. I've already got the patent. A look towards the future. Montgomery. Yes? Do you ever wonder what the future holds? I mean, look at the inventions of the last decade. Just five years ago, we were using oil lamps to see. The pictures didn't move. Scientists have been working hard using science to visualize the future with all the possibilities that technology will bring. Do tell. We will be getting to the market so much sooner using moving sidewalks. Walking will be a thing of the past as we move from place to place with the ground beneath us taking us to our destination. Our personal flying airships moving through the skies, as so many fish in the sea, will take us to the exciting holiday excursions to the North Pole. Without moving pictures where it's setting? Well, imagine a moving photograph that sends out the image and sound through air so that it may project itself into the living rooms of your own home. Our mastery of science shall be so complete that we'll have all the wonders of the deep reveal themselves to our eyes with the undersea tourist boats. Marvelous! Quite! <laughs>